Hey guys, happy Tip Tuesday. It's me, Julia Flynn Worry, and I'm really happy to be with you tonight. It has been a jam packed day, absolutely amazing, really, really good stuff going on. I cannot tell you how much I love uh, doing health fairs and trade shows. And today I was really fortunate enough to be working with two people that are so much fun and we had another resounding success so if you uh, saw my post a little bit ago that you'll know that i did a not a, really a trade show table or a health fair but we had a, a table set up at a local gym it's a really nice gym uh, they were so good to us letting us come in and talk to not only their members, but their personal trainers, their staff and their team. And it was a flurry of people. I really wanna to talk to you about that, but I really wanna tell you about a mistake that I have made so many times. And I really, I just don't want you to make this mistake. So please listen up and hear what I'm about to share because it might help you kind of jump over this hurdle and get to the end game a little faster. If you don't know who I am, my name is Julia Flynn Worry. I've been a marketing consultant and a salesperson for a very long time. My passion for doing trade shows started very early and completely by accident. I had never done anything like that. Um, somebody said, come and, and help me. I stumbled into it and I fell in love with it. And for a while, um, people would just call me and hire me to be at their trade shows because I love it so much. But by doing that, you learn so many things, so many pitfalls. And there's a big one, a glaring one that I wanna share. So when you're going to do a trade show in your mind, you're thinking this is my golden opportunity to meet all kinds of brand new people brand spanking new, they've never met me before and maybe sell to them, get a bunch of leads of people that I've literally never met. And I'm so excited. And all that you're focused on is that, right? You're thinking 100% new people, a purely beautiful green pasture. You know, I always think in terms of sales always reminds me of like this beautiful green pasture with this field and all this grass and all these people that you're going to go out and you're going to kind of harvest, right? <laughs> kind of a farmer's view, I guess. But the reason that I'm saying that is because the one thing that we totally overlook is marketing that we're going to be at the show to people who know us because we're thinking about meeting all these new people. I'm mentioning that because that's a big mistake that I've made in the past and I've done that. But if you take the time to do a little marketing and even some remarketing to some people that already know you, you will be amazed at the success. And here's why. The people who already know, like, and trust you are going to go out of their way to support you, lift you up, elevate you, talk good about you, and maybe even spread the word to new people that they know, which becomes a third party referral. So big thing to keep in mind before any event, large, small, one-off, big deal, whatever, even if it's that day, is to market that event to people that you already know, as well as to outside sources. Now, as a little bonus, as a little treat, I thought I would share with you the top places that I have had amazing success for doing some marketing and remarketing for an event even if it's within the next couple of days or the next couple of hours. So let me read a couple off to you guys. And if you have any ideas, please put that in the comments because I would love to know the places that you've had amazing success marketing your big events that are coming up. And I know some of you, one of you in particular, had a really amazing opportunity to do um, media, to do some radio for a big event that's coming up, which is so great. But uh, for us who maybe don't have that opportunity, let's go and I'm gonna give you a couple of really great ideas. Number one, do a YouTube video. Do a YouTube video about an upcoming event that you're gonna do, why you're going to be there, just talking it through. Number two, have you heard of Patch? patch.com, P-A-T-C-H. It's um, kind of, I think it used to be a newspaper and now it's an online service. And I know that you can do free community ads. I also know that you can do uh, free event posting. It's wonderful. Alignable. Have you guys tried Alignable yet? It's kind of where Facebook meets LinkedIn or something. It's kind of a neat thing. I've met some amazing people. What's really interesting about Alignable is I've met some really great business connections 
few, but the ones that I've met have been really good. How about next door? You guys ever heard of next door? I discovered it. Um, I think maybe even through, um, just posting a yard sale or reading about lost dogs and things, but it's quite literally your own community and your own, like, I don't know, the house is immediately in your neighborhood. It should be called neighborhood, I guess. Um, Craigslist. Have you guys checked out Craigslist in a while? Because I know that's a really old site, but that you can still do some marketing there and advertising. Obviously, Instagram. Now, with Instagram, of course, you can clearly go crazy like you can on Facebook with posts, with videos, things like that. Obviously, Facebook. But under the category of Facebook, think about a couple of different ways that you can utilize the tool of Facebook. Of course, you can create an event. You can post stuff in individual groups, which is really absolutely how I've been able to go wild. Yard sale groups, um, business to business networking groups, things like that. You can really go crazy marketing your events on Facebook. Here's another one. Contact some of your very good friends who maybe live in the adjacent area to where your, or your health fair, your event is going to be and ask them to post it on their wall to their friends and maybe tag some people, maybe do something nice for them for that. How about Eventbrite? Have you guys used Eventbrite? And I think there's another one called Eventsy. That's another one. I found a new one, you guys. It's called, let me, let me make sure I get it right. I'm going to make sure I get this one right. I got a, I got a secret weapon for you. It's called 10 times, number one, number zero times, 10 times. Have you guys checked out 10 times? Check out 10 times. You'll like that one. Um, meetup. Have you guys done meetup yet? Have you used Meetup? Because that's a really great place to share some information. These are some ideas that I have, but I would really love to hear ideas that you guys have because I know everybody has a little secret weapon where they do this. Once you go out there and you really start talking to people and inviting them, even if it's just to an afternoon event and getting people in, you will be amazed. Remember, you're also sealing the deal with the people that you've done business with before while you're getting new business from new people as well. And they're going to talk you up. I want to thank you guys so much for being here for Tip Tuesday. I love coming to you and sharing information and ideas. Again, my name is Julia Flynn-Wurry, and I will see you guys again real soon. Have a great evening.